Hey guys, I tell you, this kit challenge, you know, to make for a month, it's kind of hard. You know, some of the, the, the little pouches and stuff and, and stuff I showed you, I'm not going to be able to use because it just not, it won't last a month. Like this Altoid tin here. You know, this is a fire kit. And the only way this little kit right here would last somebody. I mean, I've got this slap full. You know, I even broke the hinge back here. The only way this, uh, an Altoids, Altoids fire tin would last somebody. If they were permanently stationary. Meaning they got a, they they have a set base camp. They're not going anywhere. They feel safe. They don't have to move, and they keep a fire going twenty four seven. Um, because if you have to walk and move and walk and move and walk and move, you know you're you're going to have a lot of fires started, and something this small you can't carry a lot of tinder you can't carry a lot of fire starters in it you know now say you're in a wet environment you're going to need a lot of tinder say you're in a snowy environment you're going to need a lot of tinder in order to start start a fire um but it's hard. I mean, I've sat here and um, I've racked my brain on this. This would probably be good for maybe two weeks tops. But it'd be something good you can put in your glove compartment bo a box of your vehicle. You know, throw in the boat. Um, just throw in a pack so you have extra. Um, but that's about... I wouldn't rely on something this small for a main fire starting kit this would be a emergency kit only or a backup because there's there's just it's it's not going to happen all right let me get let me get this rubber band off of here but um yeah i've I have racked my brain on, and some, I tell you, I've, I've got a lot of good ideals too, and, um, it's, you know, making a kit to last a month, it'll make you think, and that's a good thing. Okay, you know, the rubber band is to keep it closed, but after you get it down, you can always use it for a, um, um, fire starter. Okay, this is a tender, an uh, old bird's nest I tore apart, you know. I might be able to use that two times, you know, get, um, this is a, well, let me get it over here so to stop. Um, this is magnesium, and this is a ferro rod. With, the, with a striker. Uh, these little things work real good. These, this is surprise you right here. And I'm going to show you. These are little fish, fishing lures. But they make great fire starter. I'm going to show you here. Um, one... To, my phone's kind of acting up. Um, that this is a a um, what's call it a um, lost my train of thought because my phone was messing up. Um, this is a pad that you put over a wound, but it's double layered, so you can get a couple of you know you get about three or four uses to, for a fire starter. Um, 
chapstick to for a fire to help with the fire starter um, matches they're probably about 25 or so matches in here a lighter and yes I did not you know change this out because I said I wasn't going to buy any thing for these kits I was just going to use what I had so um, I just threw this one in there some tinder some q-tips but they're wood they're wooding wooden sorry and for a uh, fire starter so let me get all this out and separate it so we can see what we got here I'm dropping I'm dropping everything like I said I I have it, it's harder than it looks to set down and make a kit for a month you know you could throw one together okay yeah yeah I'm gonna throw this in here and I'm gonna throw that in here and not realize how long you're going to use it it's just a, a kit for you but um setting down actually thinking of what you need the amount you need and how many times you're going to use it it gets yeah, kind of hard so you know like i said this would probably be unless you have if you have a stationary camp that you don't have to worry about moving or anything like that this will work for you but if you're having to bug out like walk and keep moving trying to find a secure place this wouldn't work i mean this this may be you know two weeks um tops in my book and it depends on the weather. If it's all, if it's really rainy and you have to constantly start trying to start the fire back, or it, you know, a lot of heavy snow or wind, you know, there's a lot of things you got to factor in when you're making a kit as well. But um, yeah, it, 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 it's um, it's not an easy task, you know, by no means. You know, it's easy to say, okay, I'm going to make a kit. And you just throw a bunch of stuff in there. But it put on top of, I'm going to make a kit that will last me a month. Then everything changes. Then you got to think about this and that. And a lot of things that you wouldn't think about making, just throwing a kit together, you know. But I want to show you something. Let me move some of this stuff out of here. Now, this is just a little Roger. Well, I got one down here. Whoops. These damn little mosquitoes. Uh, this is, you know, twisty tails for fishing. Get it over here but these will make a killer i can see i'm trying to do this well i'm trying to do this out here out, excuse me, out here in the wind and trying to see through the camera I don't know if you can see the flame, but it's burning. Let me see. It's wind. We got I got a little wind here. And say it already put the put the, say already put the damn match out. Let me see something here. I done this last night in the house and it worked fabulous. Like I said, I'm out here in the wind, and um, see, there it goes. Let 
and here comes the wind. But say it'll it just. But this, it gets sticky and gooey, and will help the fire. You know, it'll help the fire go. You just got to add a little bit more stuff. Now I am determined to see to get this damn thing to work because it worked last night when I was doing it. And wouldn't you know, it would fail when I want the thing to start. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, here comes an ant. Go over there, ant. Get burnt. But, you know, that that helped put some oil down into it to keep it keep it going. Maybe if this wind would stop. See, there it goes. It's melting. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the camera up. I'm trying to watch this and keep the camera going. There it goes. See, now it's started. But anyway, it's just an ideal. See, see, see how it's it's burning by itself now. That's what it done last night while I was inside. And, um, you know, that would burn for a while. See? I don't want to burn my camera up. But, as you can tell, that's burning pretty good. And my camera froze on me. There we go. But, see, it's still burning. Let's sit here and see how long. I mean, that'd be long enough where you can get it going and you can add other, you know, stuff in there to keep it, keep the fire going. It's like a, uh, you know, just like burning plastic or something like that. But anyway, that's an ideal. It, like I said, it worked better inside last night when I was, um, when I done it and I come out here and we got a little breeze going and it damn thing just won't won't work as well but you can see the the point of it you, you use a couple one or two of them and you add your other stuff and see that's another th a point I want to make here How, what did I one two three four matches a q-tip q and uh, um, one of those little rubber worms just to get a little flame like this you know, and I was in little breezy condition, and it kept going out. Just imagine if you're out somewhere, and it's a lot more breezier or wetter. You're going to have to have a more supplies than what you have in that. Um, so I, I don't think a little Altoids 10 would last a month. I just don't see it happening. You're going to have to have something bigger so you can put more supplies in there. As a backup, as an emergency kit, yes, it works great. But I, for a month, no, I, it, it won't. It won't happen. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think, and I'll get off of here. Everybody, have a great day. Bye.